Welcome to this Blackboard overview tutorial. This tutorial is for new students and it is intended to show students how to navigate Blackboard and to use the common features. The first thing you'll need to do is open your web browser and type in the following web address, goodwin.blackboard.com. You'll see it right up here in my address bar. We highly suggest using Firefox, which is what we're using in this video, as Firefox does work better with Goodwin's Blackboard. Next, you'll want to log in. Here, you'll enter your username and password. And the first thing we're going to be greeted by is the activity stream. The activity stream just shows you announcements from the university. It shows you due dates and whatnot from your various courses, as well as any possible grades that teachers may have posted in your courses. Once you're done viewing the activity stream, you can go ahead and click on courses. Here, you'll see a list of the current courses you're taking. In this case, we want to take a look at English 101 for the purpose of this demo. And here we can see the announcements. That's the landing page. Announcements are messages teachers send to students, informing them of any sort of important information. We highly suggest you check the announcements at least two to three times a week as you don't want to miss anything important that your teacher might post. Over here in the navigation bar, you'll see syllabus. This is where you'll learn all about college policies, information about the course, expectations, due dates, grade requirements, etc. Teachers always post the syllabus, or should be, so you can click on it to view the syllabus. Next, we're going to go ahead and click on weekly units. Weekly units are where all the work is put inside each course. So depending on how many weeks you have will depend on how many weekly units you have. In this case, this course only has seven. Sometimes teachers hide the weekly units and they only unlock them as the weeks open up. So your screen might vary from class to class, but generally speaking, you'll see something like this. So let's go ahead and click on week one. In week one, you'll see the overview. This is the general layout that we use. You should be seeing this layout in most of your courses. The overview lets you know what you're going to be doing and the summary of work you have to do for the week. So it kind of gives you a breakdown. Next, we have multimedia. This is all the multimedia for the week. YouTube videos could appear here if you have any. We don't have any this time, but often you might have some. We also have a lecture here, two lectures, as well as the transcripts so you can print the lectures. There's also a message here about choosing a master topic. Next, we come to activities and assessments. This is where the actual work is located. You'll see we have two writing assignments. You'll see a quiz. You'll also see they provided you with a sample, so that way you can take a look at what the teacher is looking for. And in some courses, you might see these. In some courses, you might not. They're just little discussion boards that let you ask questions to the instructor. We're going to go ahead and start with the quiz. You'll see here the directions as well as the requirements. This test can be saved and resumed later and it allows multiple attempts. This will change from teacher to teacher based on their requirements. Some tests might need to be done in one sitting with a timer. So it's important to know what the test requirements are before you start it. We can see the directions here. We're good to go. So it says click begin to start. So let's click begin. Now we have a series of multiple choice questions. So we're going to choose C, save answer. We'll choose A, save answer. We'll choose D, save answer. C again, save answer. And B, save answer. Your answers are all saved. You can also do this as well, just to force save everything. And when we're done, we're going to go ahead and click save and submit. Now you have a confirmation screen. Just go ahead and press OK. Here it shows you the confirmation screen again, it tells you how much time it took, the date you did it, it's, it's kind of like a receipt. So why don't you go ahead and press OK to view the results. So we got 0, 20, 20, 0, 0. So we got a 40% on this quiz. Not so great, but again, I'm just showing you the process. So you can click OK to get out of here and you're back in the weekly unit. Now that we're back here, we're going to scroll back on down to our assignments and we can see we have a writing assignment. So in order to submit an assignment, you'll want to go ahead and click the assignment. Here you'll have your options to upload your document. So we're going to go ahead and click on Browse My Computer. We're going to navigate to where the file is located. I have it on my desktop. So we'll click the file, 
and then we'll click submit at the bottom. Now the file has been submitted. This concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and thank you for your time.